hello students uh, in this discussion we should look into uh, biogas plants we have seen the fixed dome uh, we shall look at the floating drum biogas plant this is also known as kvic model that is khadi and village industries corporation model or indian model of biogas plant so you can see the biogas plant here now in the center you have got that biogas drum which floats so it is not fixed it can move up and down as the gas is filled it goes up when the gas is used it comes down in the left you can see the mixing tank left hand side top side the mixing tank is there where you mix the cattle dung and water slurry and then you have got a <coughs> pipe which connects the, to the inlet chamber and uh, again uh, this is mounted to the ground level itself only the slurry Uh, mixing tank as well as overflow tank are above the ground level otherwise the entire equipment is below the ground level you have got the inlet chamber to the left outlet chamber to the right and uh, the dung and water mixture enters the inlet chamber which is also you call the digester now here and in the digester the gas is produced by the microbial action that is action of the bacteria and the gas is collected in the drum on the top so that is steel drum actually <coughs> and to take out the gas you have got a outlet pipe with a wall and in the center of the digester you have got a partition wall so that the, after the digestion that goes to the from inlet uh, chamber to the outlet chamber and uh, because of the gas pressure the uh, outlet chamber spent slurry is sent out to the uh, overflow tank outside so let us look at the construction aspect it has got a mixing tank above the ground level digester tank deep underground it's like a well like structure uh, and divided into two chambers the inlet as well outlet chambers and two cement pipes one is to connect the inlet pipe that is a slurry uh, to, to the inlet chamber and second is the outlet pipe which is connecting the overflow tank to the spent slurry and a gas holder is there that is a inverted steel drum uh, resting over the digester uh, uh, so you may ask that gas may leak uh, uh, you may have one doubt that because of this uh, so uh, please understand there is a water seal <coughs> the edges of the drum na, they are resting in a u type channel theek okay? hai and in that u channel there is water so gas will not leak out okay that should be understood <coughs> then um, we have got a overflow tank uh, this known as kvic model khadi village industries Car uh, commission or floating drum model uh, which consists of a deep well shaped underground digester connected by inlet and outlet pipes a mild steel gas storage drum inverted over the slurry goes up and down around a guide pipe corresponding the accumulation and withdrawal of pipe uh, gas so in the center you have got a guide pipe because the drum may uh, wobble to, for the to guide that there is a center pipe is there which guides the uh, vertical movement of the drum the gas fills the drum goes up we use the gas the drum keeps coming down we can make out uh, from a distance only so again the working is same like a uh, fixed dome only the prepared slurry is fed to the inlet chamber of the digester uh, the plant is unused for initial 2 months huh? uh, the slurry is given and then what happens the fermentation takes place of the biomass in the presence of water here only uh, same thing in the presence of water in the absence of air which produces biogas in the digester biogas being lighter rises up and starts collecting in the gas holder the gas holder now starts moving up and the gas holder cannot uh, rise beyond a certain level and then uh, the, the uh, more gas starts collecting and the pressure begins to be exerted on the slurry so what happens they, because of this pressure in, uh, of the gas the slurry, spent slurry is now forced into the outlet chamber from the top of the inlet chamber when the outlet chamber gets filled with the spent slurry the excess uh, is forced out through the outlet pipe to the overflow tank this is used as a manure uh, 
the gas wall of the gas outlet is used to supply the biogas once the production of biogas begins the continuous supply of gas can be ensured by regular removal of the spent slurry and introduction of the flush slurry so every day like we have food now we have food we uh, excrete so this system likewise similarly this uh, you keep on adding the uh, uh, fresh slurry and take out the spent slurry and the gas is getting produced so only uh, disadvantage is slightly expensive than a fixed uh, dome type and a steel drum uh, is prone to rust and it requires maintenance okay so this was about fixed dome uh, sorry uh, floating dome biogas plant very uh, uh, repeatedly asked uh, questions uh, either on the floating uh, gas holder type biogas plant or fixed dome type biogas plant